Dear user, the following 10 minutes will give you an instruction to handle the T5 mini tensimeter. The T5 set contains the augers, the refilling series set, the connecting cable for data logger use and the tensimeter. Use the T5 body auger to install the sensor body a few centimeters in the soil. We recommend this to remove the cable strength from the shaft of the T5 cup. Then use the shaft auger marking the shaft length on it and stitch it step by step into the soil. You don't need slurry to insert the T5 after you check the filling status. The set includes some towel. Use it to remove free water from the ceramic cup to see response mm -hmm. speed. Use the syringe with the yellow tip to remove bubbles from the open shaft or sensor body. Before screwing both parts together, a water bubble is set on both parts. Use the long thin pipe to fill long cups with water. Your set contains different syringes. Those without black pins are usable as water reservoirs. The syringes with black pins are usable as vacuum reservoirs. Use the syringe with the acrylic glass adapter for bubble-free refilling of the sensor body. The quarter liter bottle contains distillated or deionized water which is used for the T5 refilling procedure. First of all, check whether the tensiometer needs refilling. To check the function or to refill, you need a display unit like the Infield 7 handheld or a logger's display to see the values. Connect it and switch it on. Pull away the protection cup, but avoid to turn it. Now the value measured should be around zero. Use a dry towel and shake the T5. Now the value should rise up to 800 hectopascals or higher. If not, you may see a bubble and the T5 needs refilling. First use water to fill the syringes. Take one syringe without black pins and draw up with about 10 ml water. Now remove all air, dissolved or gasiform from the water and from the inner surfaces of the syringes. To disassemble the shaft, hold the sensor body and turn off the shaft counterclockwise. Remove all bubbles and push the syringe over the ceramic end. Take one syringe with black pins and fill it again with about 10 ml of water. Remove all bubbles the same way. Now insert the threaded side of the T5 shaft completely into the tube. Roll up the O-ring beyond the threaded part to ensure tightness. Now pull up the syringe until both black pins snap in. Turn the syringe to collect all bubbles, but don't tap on the syringe. Remove the syringe from its pipe and remove all air bubbles. Connect it again to the pipe and pull up the syringes until the black pins snapped in. Next step is filling off the sensor body. Take the syringe with the attached sensor body adapter. Pull up the syringe, but not further than shortly before the spacers will snap in. Hold the syringe upwards and remove all air. Now insert the sensor body. If you rotate the sensor body against the adapter, it will slip in easier. Take off the tube and remove the air from the syringe. 
Leave the sensor inside the adapter. Take the syringe again onto the pipe and pull up the syringe until both black pins snap in. Leave it this way for about two hours. If the ceramic is wet, less time is needed. Attention! Bear in mind there's still vacuum inside. Take the syringe and the piston securely. Press the spacers and slowly release the piston. Remove the last bubbles again. Draw up the syringe again and remove bubbles inside. You're getting this plate values close to vacuum. Now take the shaft syringe and remove the last bubbles here as well. Remove both syringes. Now remove the sensor body. Check if all bubbles are removed. Before you screw both parts together, add one drop of water onto shaft and body so a bulge of water overlaps and be sure no air bubble slips inside. Screw the shaft carefully into the sensor body. Continuously check the pressure with the infield 7. The pressure must not exceed one bar. You will clearly notice the point when the shaft hits the o-ring inside the sensor body. From this point turn slowly and only another quarter turn. Take a piece of dry towel to check the response time. Now your tensiometer should reach 850 HPA within seconds. Take a drop of water and the value should decrease immediately to zero. Now your tensiometer is perfectly filled. Pull over the protection cup filled half with water to maintain your tensiometer in this status. 